Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, that intermittent radio signal that you're sure means something, because you keep picking it up, but you just have no idea what. And today it is time for actually the last episode of my missed Let's Play, which will be a fascinating cavalcade of failure as we go through the three bad endings and then jump back through the magic of saved games, which is effectively time travel in video games, to have a look at what the actual ending of the game is. So get prepared for a lot of fuzzy, incomprehensible audio, I guess. So step one, <laughs> there's really nothing else to say. Um, step one is going to be to input this, grab some pages and uh, get ourselves trapped in a book. So let's just input this code real quick, which I'm going to have to do like eight times today. All right, let's try that again. There we go, that's more like it. So uh, the man in the green book told us he is Atrus, he is the guy who made this place, he is the wizard in charge of everything, and uh, his sons got very greedy and attempted to use the powers that he had taught them for malevolent, evil ends. Which one should we take, red or blue? Let's take blue first. And uh, so he trapped them in books, but they had managed to trap him in a book as well, so everybody's just getting trapped in books today, including us, as you will momentarily see. Throughout the game, the two sons have been uh, begging us to bring them all of their pages, all of theirs specifically, and not that of their brothers, and they've also been insisting that their dad is dead. Here's an interesting little question for you that'll, you know, bake your noodle as we go along. If they all trapped each other in books at roughly the same time, exactly how did all of those books and pages end up in the fireplace? I suppose they must have laid a trap for their father? which he fell into after he imprisoned them. I suppose that's the only way it could work. Anyway, so, are you ready for the first fail state to do exactly what Atrus told us not to do and free one of his sons? Gorgeously tiny video. My man absolutely acting his heart out there. Really, I'm sure the actor was having an absolutely delightful time, but I really did not need to see Akonar's O-Face quite so many times. At this stage, as far as I know, the only thing you can do is load a save, so that's what we'll do. It's kind of amusing to me that Mist, which broke the conventions in so many ways of... Um, Check this out. Isn't that a blast from the past? But yeah, so it's surprising which mist, which broke from tradition in so many ways, 
having its you know gently told story with no not really any characters no narration not even any jokes and this focus on puzzles that made physical sense if not logistical sense rather than the insane puzzles of of, of its contemporaries and um bad ends were actually really common one of the like recurring jokes about old Sierra adventure games is that they would just kill you constantly. You know, you'd get a Sierra adventure game from 1991 and, you know, you cross the street, oh, you didn't wait for the light, you've now been run over, congratulations, and just like a thousand different bad ends all the way through. Mist has three bad ends, but they all happen at the same time, which is kind of curious. Anyway, let's just put this back in and rotate the boards once again. Presumably, Sirius will be much smarmier and... ...and have less of a sort of a ejaculatory frenzy with his extremely smug joy at having tricked you so cleverly. So let's see what happens with this brother. Okay, well, he came too. Yes, I'm free! Oh, thank you, my friend. My dear friend, you've done the right thing. You stupid fool! <laughs> it looks like perhaps you're in the book now. <laughs> and what have we here? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your new home as much as I enjoyed it. Can't see you. You're getting less clear. I hope you're in the boots. <laughs> the same as Hello. Oh, I can all. Even I couldn't really make out anything he was saying during that, but it's kind of interesting the difference in acting quality. Akinar's actor genuinely seems to be taking a degree of joy in his performance. It's not a skillful performance or even a particularly interesting one, but he at least seems like he's having fun. Sirius's actor seems to be taking it way more seriously, but um, it just does a way worse job, which is kind of fascinating. It distinctly has the energy of mid-2000s original web video fiction. All of those sort of stop-and-start YouTube series that people made from their bedrooms. People who'd never acted before, desperately trying their best. Which makes perfect sense when you consider that, of course, they couldn't afford to hire actors and uh, various me <laughs> two members of the dev, t dev team stepped in, which is incidentally why Akinar and Atrus look so similar, it's not just a family resemblance, it's the same actor, as I believe I mentioned previously. But it is endearingly of its era. I guess you could say that they predicted that kind of style of acting by about a decade, except for the fact that it's also the style of acting you see in pretty much all, uh, pretty much all FMV games, which would have kicked off a few years after this. Have you found the missing page? Come, come. A lot of talking about come today. Oh, interesting. So this is the third bad end, and this one has... It's a little bit more involved. It actually has some new screens for us to look at. A new area to very briefly explore. 
Is that? Hang on a second. Oh, it looks like I can't go back. But <laughs> oh, the arrogance of having a giant mural of your own face on the floor. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. You know, if enough of you guys join my Patreon one day, I hope to achieve such a thing. Look at that. Uh, I wish I could get a closer look. So yeah, the third fail involves you fucking up and getting yourself trapped here in Dunny forever. It's pretty amusing, they wrote this game before they realised that Dunny is an Australian and an old-timey English expression for uh, an outside toilet, a latrine or an outhouse. So you know, it looks like the two of us are going to be here trapped in the Dunny forever. And uh, that is the third bad end of the game, if you come through without bringing the page. They do, of course, later on start spelling it D apostrophe N I, and this is apparently the name of Atris's people, as well as the name of the age from which they came, possibly, which is this place. Here is Denis, where the Denis came from. And um, they are the people whose art it is that we have been indulging in, diving through. So it's fun that there's this little bit of little bit of lore right here at the end of the game, but it is also really, really amusing to me that they just had no they just had no idea. This is what happens when Americans try to make culture. No offense, any Americans who are watching. Um, but yeah, as I'm sure we can all empathize with being trapped in the dunny from time to time. Let's crack this open and have a look at the real ending of the game. Yeah. Uh, I actually have no idea what I was saying. I have no idea what I was talking about. I have gone completely blank, as happens occasionally, and it's not like I can check back on the recording. But anyway, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much all we get lore-wise in the game. This old guy has used his old magics to do stuff, and his sons were terrible about it and uh, trapped him at the same time he trapped them. It was terrible for everybody except for us. Of course, how we came to be in position of the missed linking book that took us here in the first place is never explained. There was some original fiction written for, written for I believe, the strategy guide, which explained uh, the backstory of the game in a little bit more detail, but this was declared completely non-canon and replaced with a completely different set of backstory, which kind of didn't make a lot of sense. Um, the backstory of Mist is a very cobbled together thing built out of, of retcons and rearrangements over the course of like about a decade. It can be fun to delve into, but I'm not going to bother to expound, expand on it any further here. Let's just find out what happens at this, the end of the game. Have you found the missing page? Yep, here it is. Come, come. Notice the difference? This time there's music. That's how we know we did it correctly and didn't fuck up and get ourselves trapped in here forever. Although, one final little bit of lore, this place is clearly in ruins. What happened to the Dini? They were clearly so powerful, they could create universes on a whim. Why is Atrus and his sons the only one left? And I suppose his wife as well, who, <laughs> who's kind of, you know, madam not appearing in this game. You good, buddy? Ah, my friend. You returned. And the page. Did you bring the page? Ah, give it to me. Give me the page. Please give me the page. The desperation in his voice makes sense. The page, my friend. The page. 
given his situation and how long he's been trapped, but it also gives him an energy very similar to that. Give me the page. Please give me the page. Of his sons. He'll just keep, keep repeating this loop, but it the makes... Page, my friend. The page. Makes him sound as desperate as they are, which makes him seem a lot more sinister than he's supposed to. Give me the page. You've done the right thing. How long does he expect us to wait? Like, can I start monologuing? Because one of the things that's curious about this is that his mention of you as my friend led to tons of people thinking for a long time that you were an acquaintance of his prior to these events, that he, that you and he, the main character, were friends or Oh, he's back. It is done. So, our reward is that we get to explore all of the many ages of mist featured in his library. His library that's been burnt. His books, none of which now exist other than the ones we've already completely explored to their entirety. I know he doesn't know the library's been burnt, but wow is it? Okay. So, implicitly he's burnt the books that his sons were trapped in, which means that they are effectively dead. There's no way to get back to their ages, they're just trapped wherever they were trapped previously forever. Which seems brutal, frankly. Anyway, I know that the purpose of that is basically saying, game's finished, nothing left to do now, but you can, if you want to, you can have a look at those cool pictures that you've been looking at the whole way through the game. But in terms of narrative, it is kind of slim pickings. Obviously we weren't doing this for a reward, we were doing this to escape the island of mist and get home. Presumably Atrus, when he's finished with whatever the fuck he's doing will send us on our way, unless he does indeed, as he said, need us for a future battle with a greater foe. Love the sequel hook there, guys, by the way. But yeah, so that's it. That's Mist. That's the game of Mist. That's really everything there is to do and see, since I am not going to be playing the uh, bonus area in real Mist, because it's, you know, a different... It's kind of a different game. But... I hope you've enjoyed coming with me on this journey and my vague ramblings about narrative and plot and design and all of this sort of stuff. I've very much enjoyed showing this game off to you. It's one of my favourites. I hope to let's play some more old games in the future, but who knows what I'll do next. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you later. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and especially share, and check out my Twitch channel for regular streams. On Twitter you can find announcements and one tweet micro reviews, and if you like what I do and want to support me you can donate on Patreon or Ko-fi. The links are all in the description, and thank you so much for watching.